welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're continuing our journey to find which Strixhaven commander is best in CEDH. So once again, we have me on Extus Mad Farm, Nate on Dina Hulk, Tyler on Galazas Stax Breach, and Cam on Jazzy Scepter. Begin! This game. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pass my turn. No. Go to discard. No, you're not. Yes. <laughs> Wait. No, this is a fucking ploy. He just wants that in his graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't hate this game at all. He has reanimate in hand and one black land to play next oh turn. That's God. complete bullshit. Draw, play a Mysterian Forest and pass the turn. I will draw for my turn. I will say that I drew this. <laughs> and that's pass. why I was pissed. Mana Crypt. That makes my Fell War Stone a lot worse now, though. Especially because Ancient Tomb is my first land. <laughs> oh, God. <I'm... laughs> yeah, you, you want me to crack that, Misty? Yeah. But it's actually all right. I'll pass. Draw a card. Marsh Flats, crack it. Find Badlands. Cast Mana Vault. Pass turn. Girl. Okay, okay. Okay. City Brass return. I'll cast Dark Ritual. I'm gonna, nice. but I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, don't get excited. I'm just uh, finding bulk. I'm gonna make sure I'm sending the right signal so everyone else knows where I'm at, and I'm gonna play Steam Vents Tapped on the, <laughs> on the Mystery and Forest, just to make it clear that I have nothing going on. Cast Reanimate. You lose seven. Yup. I have the wrong card in hand. You're kidding me. No, I swear I do. I have the wrong one. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I will just use this one. Cast Mana Bolt. Having to. Cabal Therapy is not in the deck. Yeah, I did yeah. take Cabal Therapy out. That probably would have been a good one to leave in. I'm going to cast Entomb. Entomb on the stack. Pay two life. Snap your Protean Hawk. Sure. Untap Ancient Tomb. When I was building this deck, I accidentally uh, did not include Cabal Therapy, which would have been uh, really great for Nate right now. If he would have been able to Entomb the Cabal Therapy to his graveyard and sacrifice the Protean Hulk as the cost for the flashback of the Cabal Therapy, he would have been able to kill his Hulk and get his trigger. But fortunately, Cameron had removal spell, so my non-include didn't mess up anyone that badly. I should have fired off that snap in response to the Mana Vault going under the stack. I'm going to put Buried Alive in the graveyard. Anything else? New. Play a Mountain. Cast a Mediocre Darkside Extortionist. It's four. It's not terrible. I just don't have anything good to do with it. And then I will pass turn. Roll for a Mana Crypt. Six. Hooray. Draw. Wandering Archaeac. Oh, that thing. <laughs> New card. That thing. Instant Yeah, whenever an opponent casts an instant sorcery, they may pay two. If they don't, I cast the copy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Pass. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast Imperial Recruiter, floating one colorless mana. Yikes. Yeah, that card is good. That wandering thing. I'll find Dockside Extortionist. Play a Phyrexian Tower. I'm going to use that last colorless mana to cast Hope of Gearper. Pass my turn. Untap. I'll keep it all draw. Play my land for turn. Pass. So glad I snapped that hole. Seagate Reborn. Losing three life. And I too will cast an Imperial Recruiter. I'm going to go find Baron. Oh, sure. Yeah, but... I, I think we were talking about this when I was making this deck. There there are zero infinite mana outlets, which is really fucking stupid. If you can get it going, now that Imperial Recruiter's out, you can find Spellseekers in there? Yeah, Spellseekers in. So you can, like, Cyclonic Rift and, like, get all the spells out of your deck and, like, super control the board and use some of the spells yeah, to I'm find. Yeah, I'm not saying it doesn't things. go somewhere great, but Wandering Archaic pretty much shuts me off of half of that, doesn't That's it? That's true. That does. Well, you can pay for it because you make infinite treasure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think you can do it right now unless you have more mana that I Oh, no, see. no. I I, I, I'm putting Baron in my hand and passing. Then I'm going to untap. I'm going to roll for crap. I get a three. I'll take three. Draw for turn. Hmm. I'm going to cast a solve the equation. I'm going to get a force of will. Pass. Untap. I will take one from Mana Vault. Let's draw a card. Cast Dockside Extortionist. ETB. Seven. Go to combat. One at Cameron. Before damage, we're going to force a vigor exiling Veil of Summer to destroy Hope of Gearper. And I think... Mana Vault. Yep, my hope is dead. I made a lot of plays that I was not 100% thrilled about at the time. I don't necessarily think they were wrong. Um, I feel like I did need to get rid of your hope because I was worried that you were going to be able to go off there. Reasonable fear. I just dockside a whole bunch of treasure, yeah. Searching for Force of Will uh, is not something that I always enjoy doing because, obviously, telegraphing that you have the best counterspell Fucked. Cast Diabolic Intent as an additional cost. I'll sack Imperial Recruiter. I'm gonna pay two treasures so that you may not copy it. I'm gonna get this. Sacrifice three treasures. Cast Necropotence. See if you have a blue card. Is that win you the game though? Like you get to something that can no, win no. you the game. I mean, it's, ne next it's Necropotence. It it's also win in his turn for next. But Necro's fine. I'm gonna pay 20 life. Go to 18. 
and go to end step. I'm going to move to discard or exile discard. Mox Diamond, Twin Flame, Gemstone Mine, Gemstone Caverns, Final Fortune, Tainted Pack, Plateau, Bergy, Praetor's Grasp, Mana Confluence, Weather Wayfarer, Two More Lands, and a Grand Abolisher. Go ahead. A couple things. One, I should have uh, necroed for much more than just 20. I'm not sure why I would pull the coward move and didn't do as much as I should. I think I should have went for at least 32 here. 20 was just not nearly enough. And also, I don't know why I'm getting rid of Twin Flame when I have a Dockside in play. That was just like all the mana that I possibly would have needed. That was a big mistake. Um, Those are two plays that I'm not particularly thrilled with looking back. Draw. I will play my land for turn as a command tower. And I'll play Dina. Force of will? <laughs> no, not this time. That is all I'll be doing. Untap. Draw. I will play a fire outlet. Okay, I gotta be smart here. There may be a world in which I get to use Wandering Archaic to enable Cam to respond to Dawn if I don't play stupidly. All right, we're temporarily on a team. I'm just telling you that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pay two and crack two treasures to cast my commander. Get a treasure. I'm going to crack two treasures to cast a winter orb. I'm passing the turn. World of one. I hate that, but it's fine. Draw for turn, cast land of war elves and go to combat and hit Dylan for four. I will take four. Pass the turn. I'll untap Phyrexian tower. I'll lose a life off of mana vault. I will not draw. Go to my turn. That winter orb does suck ass. I figured it would screw you a little. Play a Forbidden Orchard, cast Memnite, cast Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, it's just not enough now because I needed the one more, which is such a fucking bummer. And then I have to just like not even do other things because the Winter Orb is still out. I think I just do nothing. Pass turn. Had I kept the Twin Flame, I would have been able to make quite a bit more mana this turn. Probably would have been more than enough. We got him! <laughs> yeah! Alright! Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I'll play my land for turn. I'm just gonna pass. In your end step, pay one blue to cast a Mystical Tutor. Would you like to pay two? Yes. I will lose one life. Mental misstep. Untap. Winter Orb was tapped. So. Sure. Off for turn. Cast a Loyal Apprentice. I'm gonna move to combat and make a 1-1 one, one Thopter. Combat you, Dylan, with my commander for three. Second, so, I mean, I'm gonna pay two blue like th this cast a transmute artifact oh no i mean i just get another stacks piece it's not like i can win with that right i'm saying oh no because i can't win through trinosphere right now <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> i i know like what that is what i'm doing um, yeah. i cannot imagine any world in which you want to counter this i have no idea no, but he gets I, a copy can i get a copy oh that's stinky oh god Damn it, no, you can't have a copy, you asshole. Oh, I think I'm fine with that. I have nothing to say about it. All right, I'm gonna suck Winter Orb. We'll oh my fucking God, wait, I screwed up. To. Can you do it differently? Yeah, I could if I was not fucking stupid. What I was supposed to do was leave the treasure up and sack the treasure as the one mana. Okay, yeah, do it's that. Okay. I'm gonna go get a Trinisphere. What Tran are you sacrificing? Transmute says I have to pay one, so I'll be sacking this treasure. Before Trinisphere locks me out of the game, I'd like to show you where I like lock my cards up after this game that's my and that that's right here that's my dragon shield deck box let's take a moment here to talk about our sponsor dragon shield their dragon shield nest 100 and the 100 plus dragon shield has really great deck boxes they hold 100 sleeves double sleeved which is great for commander players and if you get the 100 plus like cameron has over here it has a little dice container at the bottom there so you can fit all of your counters in here you can fit your tarmogoy die check out the nest and the other dragon shield products down below yeah you've been able to really just tempo me off Oh, wait, the past two turns. Yeah, but like I'm just, just enough. I'm, I'm just hoping Cameron get into a position where he's likely to present a win eventually, which is not... Maybe. He's missing land drops, though. He's not doing a ton. He's just got that Force of Will and Blue card. And the Wandering Ar Archaic. Well, yeah, which yeah. is just slowing everyone down. He's not taking advantage of that, though. You're like, I'm trying to. Yeah, you're <laughs> trying to. That is going to be it for my turn. Untap and roll for Crypt. I rolled a four. Luckily, go to my draw. Cast a Carpet of Flowers. I hope you're not skipping over Compat because that guy's got six arms and I am sure he can suplex Dylan. I know, I know. I'm pro <laughs> I probably am going to be coming in at Dylan. You're starting to scare me next, though. Me? Yeah. You. Me? It makes sense. Dylan? Yes. I'm going to hit you for four. Block with my Memnite before damage. Sacrifice it for two black mana. And then still within combat. I'm gonna use that black mana and this Forbidden Orchard. I will give you a spirit. Okay. And that Forbidden Orchard is gonna be for white and I will cast a three mana Enlightened Tutor. Can I get a copy? Yeah, you can. All right, so my copy is gonna resolve first. Get Isochron Scepter. My Enlightened Tutor? I'm kind of like grasping at ways to put together anything because I'm feeling very disruptive. Find Underworld Breach, put it on top. And then I have no more effects in combat. 
Go to my second main. Carpet of Flowers is going to target Tyler. Blue mana. And then I will pass the turn. Go to my turn. Take one off of the mana vault. Not draw a card. And here we are in my main phase. I'm going to pay one life. Exile the top card with Necropotence. And then I'll just pass my turn. Draw. I'm going to cast Imperial Seal. Paying two. Yeah, screw it. I don't care if you get one. You have the card on top. Yeah, I'm going to cast it. I'm going to try this. You can resolve yours. So now I know that you're pretty fucked by Trinosphere. I think you're unlikely to even be able to present a win next turn, from what I can tell. And now I am facing two other players who just Imperial Sealed, so I, yeah. I'm yeah, very sure. not in the mood to attack you. Pass turn. Draw. Play a River Glide Pathway. Do I know if this deck runs Adnaz or not? His deck? It does run Adnaz. Move to combat. Combat, I make another Thopter. Two 1-1 one, one Thopters. Nate, I'm going to attack you for three in the air. I'm going to just do this and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to pay two red... Plus five, other mana. Losing a life to five of the eyelet. Shatter skull smashing for X equals five. Targets are Wandering, Archaic, and Dryad Arbor. Can I copy it? Yes. I'll kill Dockside and Dina. I'm gonna pay three, cast Force of Will, Exiling Mana Drain to counter it. Pass turn. All right, I draw. Carpet of Flowers targeting Tyler. Make a blue, Archmage, Emeritus. This would have been great if I would have still had a Force of Will. That is, I need card draw. That's what I need. And I figured this was, if I still had Force of Will, it was going to be even Well, And with Archaic, draw. it's definitely a potentially very good yeah. action. Yeah, exactly. So that's kind of that's kind of where I was going at with this. Tyler, I'm going to hit you for four. Yep, I'll take four. I will pass the turn. Lose one off of the Mana Vault, not draw. I just don't have enough with the transfer. I probably should have done this last turn. I'm going to sack Dockside for two black mana with Phyrexian Tower. Cam, I'll give you a second Spirit with Forbidden Orchard to make a white. And I will cast Extus, Auric Overlord. I will pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, I'll draw. Thoughtseize, Tyler. May I make a copy? Yes. Okay, so Thoughtseize is on the stack. I get to draw off of Archmage for Magecraft. So my Thoughtseize is going to target Nate. Autumn's Veil, Cabal Ritual, Protean Hulk, Calling Ritual. Oh. Calling Ritual doesn't seem fantastic here. This would make him 10 mana. I can't cast a Calling Ritual at all, because if I do, he gets to cast it first, I get zero mana. Yeah, I'm definitely on taking Protean Hulk. It is... Baron and mechanized production. Hysterical. Yeah. Super good with the loyal apprentice that's out. <laughs> if by get... super good you mean a four turn clock, <laughs> which for CDH is not even remotely yeah. good. Then On the yes. current board. I think the mechanized production is the one to go for. I think it's better for you because that leaves me with only the option to cast Baron and try and control their boards because Baron doesn't do anything to you. Yeah, get the mechanized. Pass. And tap. Draw. I'm gonna regret this. Move to combat. Make a Thopter. Dylan, I'm gonna attack you for three in the air. It's a flying. Yeah, I have no blocks. Second main, cast a Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Can I make a copy of it? Yes. yes. Great. I get a draw, and then let's cast Wheel of Fortune. We're casting Cameron's Wheel of My Fortune. My Wheel of Fortune. So when I discard the Ascent of Divine Top, Underworld Breach, Infernal Plunge, and Bolus to Citadel, Necropotence will make me exile those cards, which is good. Infernal Plunge is why Trinisphere fucked me up so bad. I was just planning on at 18 life casting the Bolus to Citadel with Necro, and like that getting me there. So Tyler's wheel is on the stack. Would anyone like to do anything? Tyler's active player. Two life and a green to cast Noxious Revival, targeting my Force of Will. I get a card draw. I, it's not a May. I have to. Put that on top. Next Wheel of Fortune. I'm exiling Silence, Bloodstained Mire, Wishclaw, Talisman, Worthy Cause, which is the white card that comes with this. Talisman of Indulgence, Jeweled Lotus, and Flooded Strand. Brain Freeze, Flooded Strand, My Own Archmage Emeritus, Trophy Mage, Training Center, Polluted Delta, and Snow Covered Island. New seven. I'm excited to play a second land. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay three and cast an Underworld Breach. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of cards in your graveyard, aren't there? There are many. Much. Many. Some of them are good. I... Some of them are great. <laughs> we know one of them is a brain freeze. <laughs> Tyler has always has so many options. God, he's awesome. <laughs> he's awesome. God, Tyler's so freaking cool. I'm going to play a Shiv and Reef. Escape a Wheel of Fortune. I am not going to copy this one. Ooh, come on. I'll exile these three lands. I'll crack Lion's Eye Diamond for three black in response, and I will discard Imperial Seal, Dark Ritual, Wood of Foothills, Sacred Foundry, Storm Killing Artist, Scroll Rack, and Children of Corliss. I'm going to make it red mana instead. Draw seven. Draw seven. I'm going to escape a Mana Crypt, ditching a Training Center, Flutter Strand, and Shadow Skull Smashing. Trinosphere, are you turning it off? Yeah, I'm going to tap this and have one red floating mana that can only be used for instants and sorceries. This is also in my graveyard again. Floating one 
Let's keep slowing. Do we have a storm count? I think we should start doing that. Yeah, we should start doing it. All right, so how many... Wheel of Fortune was cast three times. Then there was Soul Ring, Mana Crypt, Underworld Breach. Noxious Revival. Is that seven? And is that all the cards that you cast? Storm count's at seven. I'll keep count. Wheel of Fortune was cast two times. Cameron's Wheel of Fortune was a copy of a Wheel of Fortune, not a cast of Wheel of Fortune. So the storm count should be at six, not seven here. Mm, whatever. Tap. Soul Ring for blue. That feels terrible. Use the one colorless floating and cast the rain freeze targeting myself we were at seven right so this would be eight so it would be 24 i am exiling these three to escape it i think i would like to copy it technically the draw will happen first while the brain freeze is on the stack so i'll draw and then my brain freeze uh just has to be one of you two and eight i'm gonna mill three so i have eight copies of brain freeze on the stack we just need to find lines eye diamond yeah 20, 21 22 23 24 there's lines you got I lines led okay. is in my graveyard yeah, so unless anyone has any... Does anyone have any reaction? I've been looking at it, but I don't think they're... I might be able to just... No. I have no idea what I'd be able to do. Yeah, so I, I would escape all the free mana that I can, recast Brain Freeze a bunch, mill myself to a uh, safe and protected level, um, but most of my deck, and then cast Brain Freeze milling everyone else out. That was a great game. That was a great showing of Galazeth, I thought. That, it did exactly what the point of that deck was, which was to use stacks pieces like Winter Orb and Trinosphere to lock other players out of the game until you were ready to do that yourself. I think Tyler did a great job of piloting through until he was ready to use Breach and use Brain Freeze to mill out everyone so we would all be dying on our draw steps there. I think he did a good job of making sure that Nate and I were also focusing on you quite a bit as well politicking too. he was doing a little bit of yapping a little talk in this he, game it was he had a lot to say to say a lot to say, lot to say. <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you'd like to support us directly you can do so on patreon check out our bonfire store for our awesome t-shirts and sweatshirts if you want to pick up any of the cards you saw today you can do so at our tcg player affiliate link down below we also have an affiliate link with altar sleeves too you can check that out down below too we have some playmats you can check them out at play to win mtg.com our podcast is on spotify and itunes thank you so much for watching We'll see you guys in the future on another date. Jazzy. Jazzy? Yeah, Jaz. Jazzy. Jazzy, I think. Jazzy. 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 Jazzy.